These are my favorite carnivore, ketovore, family style meals. Do you see this? I guess that's what people want to watch me do, is eat meat. We're gonna go down to the kitchen and I'm gonna share with you my favorite recipes for staying true on the carnivore, ketovore diet. So now that we're ready for the day and dress, let's go downstairs and see what we're gonna make. You, but can you got do you, wait don't do that he's got one arm you want to try to do the bone broth i don't know if you can do that even with one arm i don't know are you okay okay thank you so jason just grilled ribeyes for us so we'll have this for dinner this is definitely one of my favorite meals on carnivore and then we'll put a little bit of butter with it amish roll butter the more keto concept is I sauteed some spinach with butter and salt and pepper, and I'm gonna put this with the boys' steak. Thank you for grilling for us. Look wow. delicious. On me and Jason's plate, it's just going to be the steak. And then for the boys, we do half steak, and then they get some spinach or like broccoli or something. One of my other favorite things is the sriracha may mayonnaise. It only has, yeah, one carb. I just put a little bit of this too to eat with my steak because I enjoy that. Jason likes butter. <laughs> really quick, I want to make sure that everybody knows that I'm not some carnivore purist. I'm not putting myself on any kind of like box of being that because that's not what I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing with you this idea that we've done keto for a long time on and off, always had great results with it. Then coming back into 2023, we decided let's kick off getting back into keto with this carnivore thing where you just eat meat and butter and eggs, and bacon. So I did five days and that was what that previous video was with the idea that I was always going to transition back towards a few things. What I'm trying to do in this video as well is show you kind of like a carnivore kind of straight concept and then a modification for keto or ketovore where you get a few more things added in that might make this lifestyle more sustainable for you from a flavor palette, from just an interest palette. My point is, is that I'm not saying that what I'm doing is right for you or I don't need the purist coming at me explaining to me one of my cuts of meat wasn't the right gray. Come on, you guys, take it down a notch. I'm just sharing with you what we're eating, how it's working for us, how we're doing it with our kids, and kind of just trying to make it real and not so extreme. Okay, we're back in the kitchen, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I did in our spice cabinet. Not so fast. I filmed so much for this video that I actually broke it up into two. So I have an organization in my kitchen video where we go through the fridges and the spice cupboard and kind of how we organized it for working with the air fryer and all that kind of stuff in the next video. So this video is gonna focus mostly on the food that we're eating and loving, and then the next video is kind of how I'm organizing and keeping it all together. So number one, we have been obsessed with our air fryer fryer from Ninja and I'm going to be using that a lot in this video so you'll get to see how that works. This is our bacon fat grease so basically I have it next to it because I will just dump the grease from the air fryer into that and then we can store it and use it. We also have ghee next to it. Basically the base of this lifestyle is bacon and eggs and doing it in the air fryer is the easiest, quickest way to do it and you can repurpose these things into so many other meals. One of the reasons it's such a good idea to get into eating bacon if you're not already into it and making it first off is because then you can render out your bacon grease and have this to cook with. I really like this apple wood smoked bacon. It's super thick from Costco. It comes in a two pack. I'm sure some people like purists and stuff are gonna say maybe this bacon's not good enough. I don't really care. I really like it there. So, cut my bacon in half so that I can get more pieces to lay into the air fryer. Time to go to the air fryer. 
air frying. It's amazing. I don't know what took our family so long to get into it. I know everybody else knows all about it. Carnivore diet has brought us into the air fryer and we're obsessed with our Ninja. And I will link to everything that I use in this video in the description box. So if you want something like mine or you see something you're like, yeah, I want that, I'll link to it below. It's amazing, especially for bacon and eggs. And our boys can do it now themselves. So I have the dual one, so I have two baskets. You can see that there's like grease in this because we don't clean them out that often. I just kind of like let the grease start. Okay, so you turn it on right here with this button and then I go to choose air fry and I'm just going to lay my bacon in here flat. If I was doing bacon, I would then fill the next one too, but I'm doing bacon and eggs. So the other one I'm gonna do the egg in. Okay, so this one's going in number one. It's going to go for, we'll start with 11 on that one. And then if I had bacon going in that one, I could have hit match cook and it would have done the exact same thing. But we're gonna be doing an egg. So I'm gonna stick it inside, put it in, turn it on, and we're gonna air fry this as well. We'll check it at three minutes. Sometimes the white doesn't get completely set. Okay, and then you click the start button again, and so now both of them are going. Same time, amazing, right? Okay, I think our egg might be ready. I had to go longer because I'm doing both sides, and when you do dual zones, it actually takes longer. Yeah, see? It's perfect. The yolk is gonna be runny, but the white is set, and you get some crunchy on the edges. I don't know where I've been, but the air fryer is pretty incredible. And I thought I greased it enough. That's the one thing I'll say that I'm not happy with. I need to find different trays. These are hot, it's hard to get them out, and you have to grease them so much they're so stickable. Stick to everything. All right, the bacon's done. Mm, does it so fast and so yummy for 11 minutes, but that was that super thick cut bacon. This is what the boys ask for for a snack now when they get home from school. Friday night, yeah, I'm going out to forget how he did me wrong. Triple crowns packed. But besides bacon and eggs being a staple and so good, you can take that fried egg concept and basically put it on anything, including the shredded beef that I make every week in the crock pot. And I have the recipe and I'll share that with you guys next. But watch how yummy this is. Do you see this? So yummy, right? And I think we should tear open the yolk. I probably let it sit too long. If I had pulled it apart right when we pulled it out of the air fryer, it would have been more runny. This is a great example of a straight carnivore kind of meal. But if I wanted to up the flavor component a little bit and make it more ketovore, this is what I would do. I'm gonna take something like this sriracha mayonnaise and just like do a nice little drizzle. Because it is real time and real life here, I just asked the boys who wants this and my I two youngest, first. you said first. I think we're just gonna take a knife and cut it in half. Divide it up, okay? Okay. Enjoy. Okay, next let's get our tri-tips going in our crock pot so that we can have lots of pulled shredded beef for the week. I really love this crock pot. Not only is it a huge quantity, I don't know if it's like 12 quarts or what, the inside of it comes out and I can sear on my stove top, which is great because I love getting a sear on it and then letting it go all night. This is a recipe that I make normally, so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit for carnivore. So I'll be frying it and searing it in uh, ghee rather than vegetable oil, which I would normally do. And then I'm just gonna do some garlic powder on it, salt and cumin. Again, I'm not not having spices. Dry that meat off. The ghee is in melting. The only issue with this cut of meat for carnivore is there's not really a lot of fat on it. So yeah, it has some marbling in it, but honestly, there's a normal, there's a fat cap here, but Costco takes the fat cap off. I actually appreciate that. However, Safeway leaves the fat cap on, but I guess in carnivore, you probably would want that because you could render down all that fat. So next time I'll pick up my tri-tips at Safeway and have all that extra fat. You know what? I forgot. I never put the cumin on yet because I don't want it to burn when I'm searing it. That's what I get for not thinking while I'm filming. 
because sometimes when you burn your spices, they can become really bitter. Let's sear it. Then we just bring it over from the stove and stick it in here. And now we'll put on the garlic and the cumin. I did do some pepper while I was cooking it as well. Both sides are nicely seared. And I know. I'm gonna dump in some water scent. Normally I do like onions and bell peppers so it gets moisture from that, but this time I'm not. We'll give it some water and I'm putting it on low for the night. So it's cap. So I let it go all night. And now it's just like, probably just, yeah. And it's got great juice. Time flies by so fast. We all start with a rock. It's a giant canoe. I've been telling it's metal. It's all rusty. It's like a hundred years old or something. How fun excavating. This next food is the reason I bought an air fryer. It's making chicken wings and making them crispy. It's just like my favorite snack on these kinds of diets. And um, then I pair it with my homemade blue cheese dressing and it's perfect. But if you're just doing the carnivore side, then the wing itself is really yummy too. Okay, this is from Costco of the chicken party wings. And I do three of these little packages all at one time in the dual ninja. First, I'm gonna unpackage it all and rinse it out. Yeah, you wanna put that dish in your mouth. And then I'm gonna dry it on a paper towel. And then I'm going to salt, pepper, cayenne, garlic powder as well. Toss them all together and then throw them in the air fryer. Okay, so our chicken wings are both in here. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna select air fry, which is 390 degrees, I guess. And then I'm gonna go up on my time. And because they're gonna be cooking full each side, I'm going to probably go for around 50 minutes total. So I'm gonna take it up to 50, and then I'm going to match cook. So now they're both gonna cook for that long. And then I'm gonna push start. I'm going to set the clock for 25 minutes so that in the middle of it, I come and shake the baskets and then it finishes to 50. I thought I'm at Costco. If I was just at Costco, I would have bought more. Oh, okay. You can DoorDash. You can DoorDash stuff. From I can just DoorDash stuff from Costco. Yeah. We did that with Safeway. Is that free? DoorDash? No, but I mean, what? Set it up for me and I'll pull the trigger on getting more of those chopsticks. for me and I'll pull the trigger on getting more of those chopsticks. The alarm just went off, so I came down to shake them. You can see that getting cooked. We want them crispier, so they're going to go for another 25 minutes. Okay, it's time to pull them out. You see that? They're crunchy. They're like way too hot for me to eat out of this, but it's like so yummy. Okay, so one of the great things about this too, especially if like some people in your family are more carnivore than you are, is that you already have them divided up. The person who is completely carnivore, this is done for them, right? So we'll just put that to the side and it can go in a Tupperware container. But for those of us who maybe have hot sauce in our life, you can take the other basket and throw it into a bowl. Frank's red hot sauce does not have any carbs in it. You can just do some shakes on our hot wings. When I was paleo, we used to put honey on them at this point. Oh, that's so good. The hot sauce is really yummy, especially when we put it with the blue cheese dressing.
It really is a yummy snack, right? I was like figuring out which one I'm gonna eat first. It's crunchy and juicy. The sauces make it good. The spices make it good. It's just really yummy. Tip on the hot wing. When you bring them out, you can put them in your Tupperware containers, but don't cover them until they come to room temperature because if you cover them, then they're gonna steam and then their skin's not gonna be as crispy. So let them completely cool down and then you can put their lids on. Another tip to make the chicken wings extra yummy is that you leave the bacon grease that you start out with in the morning, let's say, you leave it so that the chicken wings cook in that bacon grease and it's just like so crispy and yummy. Okay, I'm trying to decide if this is yummy or weird. I think it's yummy. I keep drinking it thinking like there is something addictive in this ketovore Italian soda that I just made with Pellegrino, a limited raspberry salt stick, and then some whipping cream and ice. I think it's, I don't know, I kind of like it. Yeah, hamburger patties. Right, nice and big. Those will be delicious. Those are always people's favorites. Are you gonna put cheese on yours tonight? Not with the salt on it. Which salts are you gonna use? I don't know. What should I use? Well, I think you should do this yummy black garlic right. salt. That looks really good. For my hamburger, I'm actually gonna just saute up a shallot in some of this Finlandia butter to go on top of my burger. They say we're crazy, it's too much. And yeah, we're crazy, deep in love. Oh, oh this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that Hmm, not sure about ghee as... It wasn't ghee, it was my bacon fat, but I guess I didn't oh. do enough still. I don't know why oh. that's happening. I, I would think I did enough. But my trusty Pam doesn't I do know, this. I know, I know. We just have to keep oh, looking. That's six minutes? Yeah, but that uh, was two. This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't Wanna go. This is we're gonna leave the uh, fried eggs to anybody else. You told me that time. No, but that's what we always do. I just but that was, I told you it was two. I, know. I also used the bacon fat. Maybe. Yeah. Come okay. experiment. Okay. Experiment with your own It'll, food. Okay. okay. You still want the Pam. Okay. Next are chicken thighs. I know chicken's not as fatty as red meat, but sometimes it's nice to have a different texture, just different everything. And these chicken thighs from Costco have skin on them, so that gets crispy in the air fryer. So I'm gonna make them two different ways. I'm gonna make them the carnivore way, and then a ketovore concept way, which is super simple and easy. First, we're gonna unpackage our chicken thighs from Costco. So these ones are in that three pack. I'm just gonna dump them all out, wash them, and dry them. Season them with salt and pepper and garlic powder and cayenne. Stop playing Divide them into two different groupings, the grouping for carnivore and then the grouping for ketovore. The ketovore ones are going to get the jalapeno artichoke dip from Costco, which is delicious and could make anything a winning dish. It's just the best spread ever. We're going to pin them closed with a toothpick and then we're going to get them all set up for the air fryer. I decided it made the most sense to cook off the 
carnivore chicken thighs together as fast as possible. And during that cook time, I will be assembling the jalapeno artichoke stuffed ones. All right, so both are loaded. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna go to air fry. Let's start with 20 minutes. Match cook. Okay, our first batch of chicken thighs are done. Look at these, so crunchy. So my boys will take pieces like this in their lunchbox. While your chicken thighs are crisping up in the air fryer, you can make a really quick jalapeno artichoke cream sauce for the keto eaters. So you take about eight ounces of the La Terra Fina jalapeno artichoke dip, which is about half the container from Costco, and you put it in a pan and you put in about a half cup of whipping cream and you just heat over medium, whisking until it becomes a warm sauce. And then you just serve that over the crispy chicken thighs. It's a quicker way of adding it in if you don't have time to roll them up and do it in that way. One quick and simple ketovore little snack is this guacamole. I got this from Nisha, who is the wife of Dr. Barry. So I'll link down to the video that it came from. But basically, it's just one of these element mango chili salt packs. And I've been playing with it, and I found two avocados to be the perfect mix between a full pack of this, mixing it with the avocado. How can you go wrong? Yummy, sweet, spicy guacamole with bacon and hamburger meat. I stepped outside a minute from the kitchen. Okay, the next recipe we're gonna go in and make is taco meat, Mexican taco meat, which usually means that there's cumin in it. I actually ran out of cumin today, so you'll see when I put up my hand that there's no cumin. I like doing this in two batches of it, one for carnivore and one for ketovore. I just pull the carnivore meat prior before adding in the onions, and then we saute the rest of it up, and it's how you wanna serve it. Oh, good. 